Cheers, what it is and what it ain't. It's your boy Liquid Cash. I need it all out the stash. AKA Money Mitch. And right now you watching the School of Hard Knocks. I'm just trying to get it like you got it, you did. Liquid Cash. And today's episode is about staying humble. You gotta stay humble, man. There's a thin line between confidence and being cocky. Confidence is believing in yourself and having the skills and the tools to back it up. Being cocky is just bragging and boasting and not having the tools or the skills to back that up. You dig what I'm saying? My father always told me that attitude and respect will get you indoors that money won't. So right now you may be having a good success run, successful run, but tomorrow you could be down on your motherfucking ass. You dig? The same ass you kick on the way up may be the same ass you have to kiss on your way on the way down. You dig? So you always got to remain humble no matter what. Sometimes people mistake my persona for cockiness, but really it's just me being confident. And they not being able to get close enough to me to even get to know me to decipher the, the two. Sometimes, you know, uh, if you get to know me, you get to understand that I'm down to earth, I'm humble, and I'm very chill, you know? So don't, sometimes people mistake that for being cocky, but it's really not, you know? I don't let people get too close to me to get to know me like that anyway, so they, they can assume whatever they want to assume, and that's, and that's fine with me. But I'm a very humble individual, very down to earth, and that's why I've been able to sustain a level of success that I've been able to sustain. You know, when you're young and you're coming up, you may have a, you know, you might get a break. You might have a, a successful moment or successful month or even a successful year. But if you don't have the right attitude, you won't be able to sustain that level of success. You dig what I'm saying? And that's just what it is. Y'all see it all day, every day, you know, from entertainers and people that you may know within your circle that are moving in a particular way where they feel like they they popping because they got a new this or they got a new that and they carrying themselves in a particular way where they feel like they on top of the world and then next week or next month they back down on their ass again and it happens to everybody you know what I mean that walk around with a cocky arrogant behavior thinking that the world won't smack them in their face you know what I mean and when you carry that cocky demeanor it makes people want to eat your food you know what I mean? For the niggas in the streets, y'all know what that means. It makes you want to, you know what I mean? And it, it, it goes for everybody, even women. Let me tell y'all a story. I was in a club not too long ago in Dreads, right? I'm in the club chilling, having a good time. Me and my homeboys, we had a section, we chilling. We got 1942, we got Ciroc, and we got a, a bottle of Hennessy. Now this Instagram model came to, this, to, the, to, to the table. One of my homies brought it through, right? You know what I mean? She got over like 800,000 followers. You know, fat ass, pretty face. She thinks she's popping. So I, you know, me being a nice guy, I asked her, you know, what do you want to drink? And she said she want, you know, a shot of 1942. And, but she said it in a, you know, a cocky way, like she deserved to drink it or, you know, like, 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 you know, she had a bougie demeanor about it. So I told her, I told her like, yo, you just got here, man. You better take this to rock and chill out. You know what I mean? And she felt offended, but it's like, I would have gave her the 1942. She was cool and chill about it. But it was like, yo, she came over there like she just, like, you know, she had a cocky demeanor. And I didn't like it. So I, you know, just to humble herself, I said, man, take the Ciroc, man, and chill out. Obviously, she didn't take the Ciroc, but who gives a fuck? I'm not going, you know what I mean, cater to your bougie persona because other dudes have made done that in the past. Nah. I'm going I'm to kill all that shit off the rip and you're going to humble yourself just like everybody else that's at this table. We're warming up, drinking. Everybody's drinking a Ciroc or having a shot of Ciroc. We didn't even crack the 1942 yet because we pre-gaming with the Ciroc and we're going to top it off with the 1942 and take shots. She wanted to come off the rip with the 1942 when she didn't even chip in on nothing. All you got is a pretty face and a fat ass. Slow down. That gets you in the door but that don't make you stay. You dig what I'm saying? So, obviously, you know, she left the section and went to some other nigga's section because, you know, 
that's just what it is. But I say that to say this, even for women, you know, you got to humble yourself and be humble because it goes along the way. Just a pretty face and a fat ass might get you through the door, but that may not make you stay in the door. You might have my attention, but you may not keep my attention. So, you know, always keep in mind of that. Stay humble because attitude will get you into doors that money won't buy and a pretty face can't buy and, and, and money can't buy. You dig what I'm saying? So even for my young adults, my young homies, my young young kings coming up, man, stay humble, man. You may have a good, good week, a good month, but stay humble, man, because it all could be taken away just like that in a blink of an eye. You know what I mean? Because I always say and I always preach, it's not how good you're doing, it's how long you're doing good. You know what I mean? And, 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 and that's what's most important because you want to be doing good for a long time. You want to stay on top for a long time. I want to be on top for a long time so I carry myself a certain way. And, you know, and, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and by me doing that, I was able to sustain my level of success for years. You know what I mean? And, and, and this ain't no overnight, you know? It was a process. Nothing that I've done or, or accomplished or acquired in life is an overnight success. It was a process, you know what I mean? And and that made me humble, you know? That made me humble. How many times you see stories where kids, uh, you know, get a fortune and they lose it just like that because they wasn't humble and they had a certain particular attitude and they carried themselves in a particular way because the money that they got, they didn't work for it. They didn't put in that work. And when you put in that work for something, it keeps you humble because you know what you have to do to get to where you have to go. You know how all the struggles and the trials and tribulations and you experience all of the emotions of giving up. You experience all of the emotion of not knowing what's going to be the next step, what's going to be the next move. You experience all of that shit. So that keeps you humble because you know the grind that you have to put in. You know what I mean? Got to put in that grind. You dig what I'm saying? And that goes a long way, man. Goes a long way. So, you know, like I said again, be confident. Believe in yourself. Have the skills to back up whatever you're preaching. Cockiness, that's just bragging and boasting. That's just full of fluff. It's just, you know what I mean? Stay away from cocky people who just full of fluff and who can't, they can't prove or they can't back up their boasting and their bragging. You know what I mean? They're not going to last. They're not going to be around for a long time. This blog ain't going to be that long because I want you to get it right off the rip. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not a YouTuber, but I'm a young man with a lot of information and a, a, and a good insight and a lot of common sense. And I'm just sharing it with you guys. And hopefully y'all share with your friends and share with others. And y'all utilize and learn something from it. Stay humble because it's going to keep you in the game for a long time. You know what I mean? I meet a lot of cocky people out there that think they're, they, they're, they're, they're on top of the world and they lose it all. You may be doing good for a good five years, six years, but what's going to happen in the next 10 years, 20 years? Are you going to still be on top? Are you going to still be that, that, that chick or that dude? You might not be if you don't have the right attitude or the right, you know what I mean? People might not want to do business with you because of your attitude, you know what I mean? So you got to always keep in mind of that. Stay humble no matter what, no matter how much you acquire through your life. Stay humble. I'm going to keep on repeating it. Stay humble. Be humble. Cause it goes a long way. It's your boy Liquid Cash, and you're watching the School of Hard Knocks. Subscribe, like, and comment below. And oh yeah, check out the merch, man. Cash is king, and we also got the Cash is Queen crop top for the ladies. Rocking, you know what I mean? Y'all see it on the hat. www.liquidcash.com. L i k q u i d c a s h. Shop with your boy, man. You dig? We out here. School of Hard Knocks. The hustle is free. But the game so the game is free, but the hustle so separately. This class is dismissed. Cheers. <laughs>